in the last episode we painted the entire body of the car. The original grey color from the GDR emphasizes the lines of the body. And now we can start assembling the interior. The cars look great, I love it. But here is a few moments. We we messed up with the sand. Look at this, you can see the sand here. Before the painting, a few times, like five or six times, I use the vacuum cleaner, but the sand is going crazy, I think. And we have some garbage on these places here, and the roof have some garbage. But I think after polishing the car, it will go on. So, the next step that I wanted to do is to put all stuff here in the interior and dashboard, seats, carpet, we need to put it on, install the windows. Then I think we need to make the front car because it has some problems too. You know, the car was very rusty, you can see. But here, it's beautiful, like new. I'm so excited of this. This looks crazy. Love it. I love it. Let's start with the wires. You need to untangle all the existing wires and put them in the right places. It would seem that these are just wires, but look how good they look now. I refinish, if I can say like this, refinish my wires. I put off the old isolation and uh, make a new one. I use tape like this, it's for interior, it's soft and great looking. My old isolation was looking like this, very bad. And uh, this is for my rear lights. We are just installing everything that we have now. All the header stuff was super easy to install and my spare bolts helped me a lot. And also very handy to have a magnetic screwdriver. I made an engine conductor mount. It goes like this. I closed every holes in the body on the floor. My special rubber grommet looks very cool. I paid some attention to the every detail as I can. I tried to restore every old panel or trim. As you can see, my battery mount looks like new. I installed the carpet and it's so dirty, look at this. So I wanted to use the vacuum cleaner and clean it as I can. But after the whole works with the car, car will go into the detailing workshop and there they will be clean this carpet, I think. Looks ugly. I saw this tape on TikTok and now I can clean the whole carpet easy. You can try it in your garage. I clean it a little bit, feel the difference. In a few simple steps I transform the interior. What do you think about it, guys? In the next step I install the dashboard. It turned out to be quite easy to install the dashboard alone. I was afraid that I wouldn't succeed, but everything worked out for me. And it's good that I had spare screws. How did it happen that they were lost before me? Who is this mysterious man that lost them? Huh? I found and bought this new plastic. Uh, because my was cut here and also I need to find this 
panel and this panel for manual it's alive <laughs> now i think that we need to install the glasses but i don't have the rear one and uh, the interior will be ready i think and then we can start in to make the doors and uh, the engine bay also i want to fix and rebuild my headlights and uh, rear lights it has some issues here and uh, i think that i will fix it i will show you later and also at the rear i have very bad wires i need to fix them too the rear lights i want to polish and tint it and maybe the front one i will tint too like i tint the dashboard uh, if you can see i don't know see you this or not but i tint this dashboard also i painted the mirror and painted some plastic here because the condition was not good and i changed the shifter also i wanted to change my handbrake uh, because the old handbrake was like this vertical and i want horizontal something like that it looks great and uh, looks like a stock like a fabric it will be good for me because in our country the police officers don't like and they are very angry when they saw uh, if you modified your car and they saw some drift tools and drift modifying in your car so i wanted to make it like stock i think that we will weld it these two uh, in one i think something like that and for this moment i don't get yet my fenders over fenders i'm waiting them so much i ordered the front fenders and the rear over fenders in uh, gtr style i'm waiting it i wanted to end the car as soon as possible and no these wheels are not for the skyline but they can <laughs> look at this 3 25 30 19 looks crazy looks crazy i can i think i can try it on my car look at this wide crazy wheels at the moment the interior is ready i really enjoyed the process of building the car i hope my videos inspire you to do something with your car thank you for watching see you soon bye